What's up, everybody? Sweeter here again, and today it, we're gonna have to have some some real talk again with Sweeter. Um, first, I'm gonna go take a take a little sleep real quick, and uh, we'll get straight into this. What? You can only sleep at night. All right, I guess it's daytime. Just a little stormy out. But what I wanted to talk about is this weekend. There was uh, first off Friday, I helped a buddy of mine move. That didn't drop for some reason. Okay. So this, this Friday I helped a buddy of mine move, and I was extremely sore from that, and it was, uh, Saturday was one of my mom's co-workers' birthday, so we decided to have a party at my house, we were going to be drinking and whatnot, um, which is perfectly okay. So we were all drinking, it was my mom, my mom's boyfriend, me, my mom's friend, uh, her friend's boyfriend, and two other of my mom's co-workers friends um, we were all just chilling having a good time and some of some of my mom's friends family showed up which was you know it was cool you know we we're all just chilling having a good time but all of a sudden out of nowhere where did that go okay there it is all of a sudden out of nowhere uh, right after my mom's friends uh, family left to go get some more family my mom's friend's boyfriend got, I don't know, he, he just started going off. Mind you, everybody's been drinking, so, I mean, everybody's acting a little goofy and whatnot. But he just starts going off. Where'd that go? Let's throw that up. Whoa. Okay, it landed here? Did I already find a stronghold? Yes, I did. Okay, so, did I grab... Oh, I forgot my pickaxe. Okay. But... You know, everybody's acting a little goofy right now. We've been drinking. And out of nowhere, uh, my mom's friend's boyfriend starts going off. Oh, you're acting stupid, blah, 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 blah. You know, just, he was, he was irate, and he wouldn't calm down. And after a little bit, he actually grabbed her by the neck and started choking her. You know, and I mean, she wasn't acting, you know, too goofy. You know, she was still under control. You know, she wasn't acting anywhere... You know, anywhere near, you know, deserving to be yelled at, let alone, you know, no one deserves to be choked like that. Like, that was just completely out of line. Um, so, I got up in his face. I'm like, dude, you need to calm the fuck down. It's her birthday party. This is completely uncalled for. You know, and I, I'm up in his face. He's like, oh, you want to fight me? You want to fight me? And I'm like, no, I don't want to fight you. You just need to calm the fuck down. This is a damn party. Let her enjoy her damn birthday. And he's going off, and eventually, after after a little bit of me trying to separate the two, he actually, he punched me in the neck. Uh, he, he caught me right in the the artery that runs up the right side of my neck. You know, I'm hurt like hell, not going to lie. But that, was, that wasn't enough to stop me. I was still in his face. You know, I didn't want to fight back because that wouldn't help the situation any. You know, I, I was trying to calm the situation. And he kept going off and every you know everybody else except for my mom's boyfriend they were all females you know so i was like there's no way i'm gonna let this dude flip out you know because i i don't want him harming any of the females one of the females slipped away went inside and called the cops but i didn't know she called the cops because she she seen me get hit and she was like okay there's no stopping this dude because i'm i'm not a small dude i'm a bigger dude um and the fact that he had the balls to hit me showed that there was no stopping him um, so I, I, I kept getting up in his face. I'm not going to lie. I blacked out for like a fourth of a second or so because, you know, he did hit me right in the artery. Um, <clears throat> but I, I was still right there. There Nothing was going to stop me from letting him get at these females like that. Um, and it, it was just crazy because I, did, I didn't know what the hell uh, caused it. It just He just kind of blew up out of, out of nowhere. Oh, where'd they go? Throw that up. Okay, this way? Um, where was that torch I placed? Let me get up on top of these trees. But yeah, and he, he kept going back. Eventually, he got around me and grabbed her by the neck again with both hands and sort of choking the crap out of her. And I, I ended up pulling him apart. Uh, and things just got out of hand. I, I don't know what happened. And I'm, I'm not going to let anybody, you know, assault a female like that. That's That's uncalled for. Um, my mom's boyfriend eventually did, you know, because those two are friends, eventually did, you know, get in his face. I was like, dude, you need to calm down. This is bullshit. 
but I mean, to be honest, he really didn't do much. Uh, he he kind of just stood back and, and yelled at him from afar, and if it wasn't for me, things would have been way worse. Um, and it's just my question for you guys. For, first off, first off, I, I, I'm gonna address everybody individually here. Um, guys, guys, there is nothing, nothing you can, nothing a female can possibly do for for you to be justified in in laying your hands on a female like that. I don't care who you are. If you touch a female, I'm sorry to say, but you're a bitch. Um, you know, you are a pansy bitch. <laughs> Ladies, don't let a man, no, no female deserves to, to have a male put their hands on her like that. So if, if your man's abusive like that, kick him to the curb. Break up with him. You know, call the police, press charges. No, do not let that shit happen to you. That is, that is completely uncalled for, um, you know, and, and that doesn't mean, ladies, that doesn't mean you can go around and, and hit your boyfriend and whatnot and, and beat the crap out of him because that's uncalled for too. You know, if you guys are going to fight, argue, go ahead and yell, violence is not the answer, you know, and everybody's like, why didn't you hit him back, why didn't you hit him back, because they know that I'm not afraid of a fight, and it's like, what good, what good would that have done if I stooped to his level and started hitting him? I was like, I can take, I can take the hit. I was I wasn't concerned about my safety. I was concerned about her safety, and and, and the other females there. Um, later on, after talking to the females and, and like my mom and whatnot, my mom actually thought that I got hit in the chest because the the sound of of his fist hitting me was actually so loud. She thought he hit something hard, but he actually caught me right in the right in the neck, um, which just shows that this dude was out for blood. <laughs> he I, I don't know what got into him. So, what I'm trying to say is domestic violence, people, you, there is, it is uncalled for. There is no reason to do this, um, you know. And she she decided that she was going to try to go back after him. Like, I eventually, once, once he stopped, you know, once he realized that I wasn't going to back down, he kind of backed up a little bit and was like, whoa, fuck. You know, this, this dude ain't no pansy bitch. <laughs> you know, he's, he's not going to let this shit go. And so he, he kind of backed off, but then she started going after him, you know, okay, I understand you're pissed off, he just laid his hands on you, you're mad, you're drunk, but still, I don't care how drunk you are, I don't care how pissed off you are, that it, you know, especially, you know, females especially don't go after a guy that, that already showed that he's not afraid to assault you, because that is not going to end well. Um... And it's just, I don't know, people need to calm down. And where the heck is a stronghold at? It's supposed to be down here. Did I get the wrong spot? Alright, let's go back up real quick. But yeah, like, ugh, the situation, it was just, it was terrible. I, I don't know what the hell set him off, but it, it was crazy. It was it was a terrible night. You know, eventually the, the cops did show up, but he, he took off walking just, like, literally minutes before the cops showed up. And as far as I know, they haven't caught up to him yet. And they asked me, you know, the cops were like, do you need ambulance attention? I'm like, why the hell are you worried about me? You know? Like, don't worry about me. Go take care of her. I, I can I can handle my own. She she got choked twice by this man. And he, he's not a small dude. You know, he by no means is he a small guy. So... I don't, I don't see why the police were concerned about me. What the heck? Where's it going now? But, I don't know. Like, all, all I gotta say is, come on, fellas. Don't ever place your hands on a female. That That is completely, completely uncalled for. Um, you know, and if, if, and so my question for, for you guys, if you would have been in that situation, I mean, the, the dude was a little bit bigger than me, you know, uh, but if you were in that situation, my question for you is, what would you do? I, I, I want to, I would hope that the sweeter super friends would, would do the same thing that I did and not let that, not let that happen. Um, because, I mean, it, it would really put a smile on my face knowing that, that, uh, you know, the sweeter super friends would, would not let something like that happen. And I, I hope none of you would place your hands on a female like that because seriously, you are, you are not a, it does not make you a man to hit a female it makes you a bitch I'm, I'm sorry for my language but that that's how I feel if you place your hands on a female you are automatically in my book a pansy bitch so 
I don't think about that next time. But my question for all all of my subscribers, ladies, would you ever let a man put put his hands on you and get away with it like that? Because honestly, she said she didn't want to press charges, you know. And I'm just like, why? This dude just tried to choke the shit out of you. Why would you not want to press charges? Like to me, I find that just stupid. Okay, oh yeah, you love him, blah blah blah. But still, obviously, he doesn't care about you if he's willing to put his hands on you like that. It's frustrating. It is definitely frustrating seeing something like that happen. Um, but yeah, leave, leave in the comment section below. Let me know what you would do. Did I? I'm trying to find a stronghold, not a stupid spawner. What the heck is this? And this is a spawner I've already found too. Are you kidding me? What the? F okay, so this is a cave I've been in. Let me see what happens if I throw this down here. Okay, it's this way. Uh, let's go up here. Don't tell me I was right next to a stronghold and didn't realize it. Hmm. Where did I come down at, actually? I need to get back up. Because I need to figure out what the heck. Can't figure out where the stronghold is. But yeah, like I said, leave in the comment section below. Let me know what, what would you do in my situation. How would you have handled it? You know, like I said, I tried to to stay calm and, and stop stop the situation from happening. I mean... Everybody was surprised that I didn't hit back when he hit me, which I wanted to. Don't get me wrong. I wanted to, but um, I, I was trying to avoid all the violence because it was supposed to be a birthday party. She, you know, she just turned 30. It's her 30th birthday party. She just, you know, she was also a classmate of mine. She's the one who got me into the program that I'm in now, you know, so, you know, it's just like. It, it was supposed to be a celebration for her, and it got completely, completely ruined by her own boyfriend, who who assaulted her. Um, you know, I, I hope the police are pressing. You know, are gonna do something about it, whether or not she wants to press charges, because that is a felony. That is that is domestic assault. That is, that is a felony. You know, and I I told the cops they're like, w would you like to press charges? I was like, yeah, because whether whether or not pr charges get pressed for him laying his hands on her I'm making sure he gets charged with something you know I, I'm not too concerned that he hit me but I'm making sure he gets charged with something and at least ha has to deal with some sort of consequences from the situation because that that is completely uncalled for and I, know, I know I keep repeating myself it's just, it's so frustrating because I've I've known a few females um, who who actually have been assaulted like that um, it, it's not something I like to talk about but in fact my own mother um, she she was abused by by my little sister's father, um, and, and that was the first time I was subjected to that sort of situation. And I I always felt you know I didn't I didn't know what was going on. I didn't find out until after we moved out um, into a battered woman shelter to get away from him. You know, and it's just I I always told myself I would never ever ever let that happen again because that. I don't know. <laughs> I really, I, I, I don't know how to stretch, this, stress, the situation enough. It's just, I don't know. Fellas, fix yo shit. That, that is uncalled for. No matter what the circumstance, I don't care if she just, if she just stole your car and crashed it into a damn lake. I don't care. That that's doing that is completely uncalled for under any circumstances to place your hands on a female like that um, but I'm, I'm going to think about what I've been talking about this whole time think about what else I want to talk about um, and try to find the stronghold so I'm gonna cut the video here and I will be back once I find a stronghold so I will catch you all in just a couple seconds alright peace Ugh, finally I finally 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 Found the stronghold thing. Hey. Chess. Whoa, my sound's really loud because I was sound whoring some lava earlier. Uh, let me turn. I guess it's... Yeah, I forgot. It's my headphones. Not the actual game itself. So, we're finally here. I don't know why I'm lagging all of a sudden. Probably because I had to open some stuff up. I hopped on Skype for a little bit because I was getting angry. I was like, why can I not find this? Oh... But I finally, finally dug into it. Uh, took a lot of digging, as you can tell by my pickaxe. 
And I'm scared because it's all dark in here. Where do I go? Hey, another chest. Yeah, some gold. Um, no, I'll keep that with me. What can I throw out? I can throw out the, these feathers. Um, I can't pick up the food, whatever. Okay, let's see. What is up here? Um, let's keep going up. I want to explore this place, see what all I can, see if I can find the room. Wait, wasn't I already, no, I wasn't already in here. This is a different one. Take the iron, can't take the food. Do, 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 do. Um, anything up here? I hear lots of zombies, but it's not what I'm like. Dang, this is a tall stronghold. Oh, never mind, that's the end of it. <coughs> okay. So, let's see, we'll go this way. I'm just going to clear this whole place out, try to find it. This is probably going to be a long episode since I'm spending so much time exploring, trying to find the stronghold and whatnot. Um, you guys didn't have to go through all the all the off-camera stuff that took forever. Ugh. But it says this is my stronghold. Ooh, ooh. I hear something breaking down. I hear a zombie breaking down a door. I don't know what door or where it is, but I gotta find it. We can do this. We're almost done with this. Let's play. Then I can download some mods and do some other exciting stuff. So, oh yeah, since since I got all the new subscribers, um, hopefully there will be some new people watching this. They can leave some feedback. I am thinking about installing different mods and whatnot and doing another hardcore let's play, but I don't know if I'll do it to me. Holy crap, it's a lot of zombies at a door. What door are they at? Oh, more downstairs. I'm scared. I keep hearing so many zombies. Dang, where the heck is... Hey, cool. Ender Pro. Not that I need it now. Could have used it earlier. I heard a silverfish. I'm getting close. I heard a silverfish. Silverfish? Hello? Silverfish. Where are you? Anything in here? Nope. Empty jail cells. Okay. In here? Ooh, more downstairs. Ooh. I, I know this I know this is kinda dark because I'm not placing a lot of torches. I don't as you can see I don't have any actually I can make more torches. I apologize. Let's just grab some of these. I need sticks though in case I need to make more arrows. Um, okay, let's listen for a silverfish again. Where is Sylvie the silverfish? Okay, that's the chest I've already been in. Um, hmm, hmm, where is it? I hear more zombies beating on doors. I wonder if maybe I throw, okay, it's this way, according to that. But we all know how that let me down earlier. Um, let's go this way. Okay, we're back in this room. So, got this chest that I've our Oh, no. Wait, yeah, these are my feathers. I'll leave them. Whatever. I don't care. Actually, I could clear up some inventory space if I put this armor on, took off the old stuff. Let's see, take that off, put that on, take that off, put that on. <clears throat> Dump the old armor. Grab this stuff. Okay. <sighs> 41 levels. There's a lot of levels to get without farming an XP grinder. That just shows how much stuff I've had to kill in a hunt for all the ender pearls and whatnot for a stronghold. Okay, I've been that way. Where the heck is it? Um, erm, let's go this way. See what's in this room real quick? Nothing. Ah, let me out. Hey, there we go. Okay, this room, nothing. Oops, give me that back. Um, I'll hold a sword in hand, I guess. I better keep my sword out anyway. In case stuff gets serious, man. This way? Oh my gosh. Where? Where? 
Where is it? <laughs> Why can't I find it? Oh god, so many dead ends. Alright, let's try in here. I'm listening for silverfish. I don't hear any more silverfish. I only heard the one. Which is kind of upsetting. Ooh. Hey, it leads into a cave. Which means I could have found it. Ouch! Oh, you scared the crap out of me, dude. And that's not cool, bro. Alright, um, so obviously it's not going to be this way, because that's obviously a cave. Um, and this way also seems to be a cave. Yep. Ugh. Move, door. Get out the way. Get out the way, door. Get out the way. Okay. Back in this room. This is probably going to be, wait, let's get my sword back out. I guess I get surprised <coughs> attacked in the face again. Ooh, okay. There's a lighting glitch. There we go. It fixed itself. Ooh, what's down here? Is this the way? Is it? Is it? Because I know, I know you need a maximum of 12 eye of the ends to activate the portal. <coughs> Sometimes, you know, there's, there's quite a few in there. Sometimes there's none in there. So I want to keep at least 12, which is why I'm not trying to throw them to get the general direction. And instead, that is why I'm exploring this place. But um, as I was talking about earlier, the whole, the whole domestic violence thing, like, I don't know, like, like I was saying, it is completely uncalled for for any man to lay his hands on a female. But that females, that doesn't mean it's okay to go and hit, hit your boyfriend and whatnot. That's not cool. Because, you know, I'm telling him, I'm telling him not to hit you. So, I mean, same goes for you. Don't hit him. You know, like, it's, it's mutual respect. Respect each other. If if things aren't working, break up with each other. Don't don't hit each other and fight. And <sighs> no one likes that. It's just stupid drama that should be avoided.